Hello. So um, I just wanted to get on here and do an intro for my next tutorial. And this is what, or this is a version of what we will be making. It's, um, it's kind of just like a, it's a bunch of different little collage pieces on one big piece of paper. But this is a bigger version. Um, the one we'll be doing is a smaller version. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I what I did was I painted the background paper, which is just like a big piece of mixed media paper. Um, I painted it like this bluish green color. And then um, I cut down a bunch of different little pieces of paper using like mixed media, watercolor, Bristol printer, and cardstock papers. Um, and I just cut them like I cut a few like larger ones and then some smaller than that And then I've just got down to like this size and then I have some narrow ones here but um, So you want a mixed media piece of paper or watercolor just a large piece of paper and then cut down some other papers um, Make sure they're like white paper. You're gonna paint over them but um, just different sizes of that and then in different textures of paper um, and then of course scissors, acrylic paint, paint brushes, something to wash your brushes, like um, water. I don't know why I said like, like there's something else that you can use. Usually it's water. And then um, a glue stick and tacky glue. And let's get started. So this is my example. And um, I'm actually gonna be showing how to do a much smaller version, but this just shows how big you could do this particular piece. So I've got a piece of mixed media paper, paint brushes, and then I cut down paper so that I have like one or two bigger squares and then a couple slightly smaller ones and then some narrow. And then these are just scrap pieces of paper. It's old printer paper. And I usually choose about three to four colors. I would say at least three. This is some older paint that I'm needing to use. So I'm gonna start painting the background of the mixed media paper one solid color. So I'm doing this red. It has like a hint of orange. And you don't want to put it like too thick, depending on the kind of paper that you're doing it on, because um, it will start folding. But once you start gluing the smaller pieces, it'll straighten up again. But right here, I'm just gonna try to fold it the other way to keep it from like warping too much. And then now I'm gonna get started um, painting the smaller pieces and. I'm going to show a few different techniques. So you can see here, um, they all have hints of like blue and different shades of blue. And then they've got like circles and then um, like kind of triangle shapes. So it's very abstract. So I just took the paintbrush from the water and it still had some of the red paint on it, but it's a little diluted by the water, so it's a slightly lighter hue of that color. So I'm just gonna go through each piece and start painting and doing just different techniques, like simple techniques. Here I'm going to use the lid um, from this little portion cup where I had paint to make a circle or a few circles. So I just dip it in the paint, move it around, and I'm going to do like a half circle here. And then I'm just going to finish um, using up the rest of this yellow to cover this little piece of paper. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to start with the blue, the darker blue. And so this is a scrap piece of paper and this is one of the other techniques that I like to do quite a bit. So I'll put a different color paint on a piece of scrap paper and then I'll turn it over onto like the main paper that I'm trying to do the technique on. And so that wasn't a lot of paint so I'm going to just do it again. And it kind of gives it like a printmaking effect. There's that. And then now I'm just going to go through and try to get um, different colors on the different pieces so that they all kind of go together. Like I want to have a good amount of like yellow, blue, and red on the smaller pieces. So now I have this turquoise. I just put a little bit of it in the middle. And then I'm going to put yellow at each end of this little piece of paper. And a lot of this is just doing um, whatever you feel like doing, just trying different techniques and like layering. So here I'm doing some layers of each of the colors. And then I'm going to scrape away some of the paint so the colors underneath shine through. I'm going to use the lid of my glue stick to just scrape away in like quick short motions. So here you can see the yellow, the turquoise, and the red. And I'm just using the edge of this small piece of paper to do some lines. And I really like the contrast of that yellow and the turquoise colors. So now I'm going to take this dark blue and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just adding lines with the darker blue. I have some yellow paint still on this parchment paper that I'm painting on. So I just turned it right over that little um, red piece of paper. I just turned it over on the paint and it gave it that printmaking effect. And so now I'm just doing a few circles again. This time with red. I really like circles in a lot of my own paintings and stuff. I like big on circles. So I'm doing this technique again where I just I put some paint over a thinner scrap piece of paper, um, spread it out, and then I turn it over onto the main paper. And I accidentally got blue on that paper so I just went ahead and went with it 
but it actually turned out kind of cool. It's a happy accident. I'm gonna do a few lines in the corners here and just kind of throw out this little piece. So now I'm just straightening these out. And my main page should be dry now. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to start placing the smaller pieces where I think I might like them. And then start gluing them down. And you want to make sure that this piece of paper is completely dry. So I have a glue stick and then I have some other glue. It's PVA glue for book binding. Um, or you could just use tacky glue and that could be for the heavier pieces of paper. But if you've got just like thin pieces of paper, glue stick should work. And I typically use different textures of papers. Like Bristol paper, um, watercolor, mixed media, and printer paper. So here, um, I decided that I had enough room for a couple more pieces. So I just took the scrap paper that still had paint on it when I was using it to do the printmaking technique on the thicker pieces of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in since they already have the color, the similar color scheme. And now I'm just going to start going through and seeing which small pieces are dried. And I'm going to start gluing them down. Some of them are still a little wet, so I just need to wait. And you want to use a generous amount of glue from the glue stick to really get the pieces down. So this was still a little wet, so I'm going to let that sit for a second. And this one as well. This one's ready to go. And these ones as well. And so you don't have to place everything where you want before gluing it. Sometimes it could be fun to just have all your smaller pieces and then just start gluing one by one and just seeing where they fit. It's almost like a puzzle or like playing Tetris where you're trying to like fit everything and make it look balanced, not too cluttered in any particular area. So they're all pretty much drying enough to where I can glue them now. This is the last piece. So again, you can do it on a much larger piece of paper and add a lot more small pieces. Um, but I just wanted to show a basic version. And then the cool thing about this too is you could turn it to any side and it still should look pretty cool. That's what I like about abstract art. 
and I could even go in and add like a few more if I wanted to of the small pieces so that's the final product and I'm gonna have it shown a couple different ways so this is like portrait and this is landscape and so I hope you had fun and that you'll try this out thanks for watching